The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. d5 occupies the center and controls the e4 and c4 squares. The king's Indian attack prepares to develop the bishop to g2, allowing black to build up a strong center which white will later try to undermine. bg4 develops the bishop and immediately attacks the knight on f3. bg2 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. And d7 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e5 square, black may play the e5 pawn push. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This prepares the bishop for development. Nbd2 develops the knight toward the center and secures a knight on f3. e5 gains space in the center and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Takes back. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. This mobilizes the knight allowing it to control more of the board. It is excellent. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a bishop. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable bishop. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is good. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is good. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. There was only one good move in that position. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This overlooks an opportunity to take an outpost with a knight. It is a miss. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. Right on target. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best.